I'm going to play Pantheon in every role, and I'm not going to stop playing until I win a game in every role. But here's the catch. I need to use a different build for each role, for example, AP Pantheon in the jungle. This is my new account, Win Every Role, where I'm going to try to win one game in every role with every champion and just see what rank I end up. Actually, that's like 850 total wins. Eh, it's fine. How long could it possibly take? I decided to start off with AP Pantheon Jungle because I just wanted to get the hardest build out of the way, but I did not expect this. Somehow getting kills. The plan was simple. Pantheon has 100% AP scaling on his ult, AP scaling on his Q when you charge it up, and his W triggers on hit effects, and has AP scaling. I was gonna take one of the manliest physical damage champions in the game and turn him into an AP assassin. It was a foolproof plan that led to some amazing moments. Bitch, you're dead. And even though I missed my final ult completely, we ended up winning the game, and just like that, the role that I thought would be the hardest was already completed. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that went as well as it did. Five, two, and 10? That's decent. Maybe AP Pantheon's kind of a meta breaker. I think the damage speaks for itself. Next up was full tank top Pantheon, and it was actually the role that I was most excited for. The idea was build pretty much full HP because my W scales with bonus HP, and if champions like Mundo and Tom Kench can do a ton of damage, why couldn't I? But I did end up changing the build a little bit because the entire enemy team was AD. And let's just say you should never go all AD against a tank Pantheon. Something about being an unkillable tank that was also doing like the most damage on my team made me feel so manly, which is just perfect for Pantheon. She goes crazy! Look how many freaking heart steel stacks I have. To be fair, I did kind of go out of my way to get as many heart steel stacks as possible. I'm not gonna lie, this challenge is off to a great start. Holy shit! <laughs> But unfortunately, that's when this challenge stopped being easy. The next role I tried to tackle was AD carry, and to my surprise, the games actually started off really well. Yes, we got first blood, we're the best. Oh, he's gonna knock him up! Huge! Fuck you! My thought process was, I'll just build crit and do a ton of damage. But I realized I have a problem. You see, Pantheon is a melee champion with limited mobility and survivability. Where did he go? And even though instantly dying might just be an AD carry thing, it felt even worse on Pantheon. Oh my gosh, I still die. Oh my god. Yeah, these two games were really tilting, so I decided to try a different role and come back to AD carry later. So let's try support and mid for a bit. When I first started trying support, I thought going lethality and playing super aggressive early game was the way to go. And because support Pantheon is already kind of a meta pick, I thought I would have no problem with this role, right? Oh, this was the biggest mistake in the... Not if he just walks up like that. That was. Yumi got it! <laughs> Leave me alone! I didn't. I. I. I think in the future I'm gonna need a duo partner when I play one of the two bot lane roles, but for now, fuck! 
Okay, okay. So now that I've lost a few games in a row, I went to mid lane and just built Pantheon's normal build to help get myself back on track. And let me tell you, this pick was exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh my god. I'm going in! Okay, Aatrox is crazy. No, I hit the fucking... Oh my... Fuck me. Holy God. And without too much trouble, I finally put an end to my losing streak. With that win, I had the confidence to go back to support, but this time I had a duo partner and a completely different build. My new build was on hit Pantheon because not only did it sound just way more fun, but I also thought it was gonna scale better into the late game. And even though it didn't matter like a ton this game, having a duo partner just made the whole experience way more comfortable and I could let him know if I was gonna roam. And I just have to say, it's disgusting that a support is allowed to do this much damage without even having one completed item yet. We kind of got carried this game, but hey, a win's a win. And with that, we were back on the final boss, AD Carry. And just like every AD Carry Pantheon game, this one started off amazing. I wanted that. I'm so sorry, team. All right. But just like every AD Carry Pantheon game, my damage just started to fall off. I was diving the backline like I did tons of damage, but I just didn't. I mean, I didn't do no damage, it just wasn't what I was expecting, and I was really squishy. But after this defeat, I knew I needed to shift my playstyle if I wanted to actually get a win. So I went into my next game with a brand new strategy. Instead of diving the backline like I normally would on Pantheon, I had to play way safer. Unless it was just the enemy bot lane, then then I could still just ult in. But playing safer and actually with my team turned out to be a pretty great idea. All right. Huge. <laughs> and with that, I'd won my final game. To be honest, I finished this challenge in just nine games, but I picked Pantheon because he is one of the easiest champions for this challenge, and it's only gonna get harder from here. Hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to watch more challenges or gameplay videos on the screen now.